hello um, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, quite possibly, because you'll probably see this on every platform going, so I thought I might as well say hello to everyone. It's come to that time of the year when you have to fill one of these in. It's alright, I've scrubbed out the relevant information. Yes, the electoral roll. Consent to be governed. By giving your corporate name, as you can see I've done this as a no consent one, I haven't actually sent this back. By giving your corporate name, you are consenting to be governed. They'll tell you there's an opt out section, as you can see there. But um, you still have to give your name. And you're still consenting. They still want your, your signature at the bottom. Now, I've got a second one for the post. And what I've done is I've wrote no consent, no contract. I've put consent as in S-C-E-N-T to start with. What a twat. And put no consent, no contract on the back, and I'm sending this back. Now, the people who knock on your door and the government will tell you by law you have to fill this in. It's a lawful requirement. I, today, while at work, happened to see an electoral roll officer who asked me if someone resided at the house that I knocked on the door to. To which I said, oh, no, actually, but while I'm standing here talking to you, you can ask me a few questions for me. She's like, okay. I said, well, I haven't filled in my form yet. I said, but I want to opt out. She said, there's a box you tick. I said, but I do still have to give my, my name and my, my initials and date and sign it. She said, yeah, you do. I said, no. I said, that's basically giving up my rights as a human being. I said, it's called Capital Dominius Maximus. She like looked at me. She said, but it's a lawful requirement. I said, do you know the difference between <laughs> lawful and legal and all that other crap? So I was like, well, it isn't actually a lawful requirement. I said, it's um, a parliamentary act and statute, I said, which um, requires my consent. And she looked at me a bit strange. So I explained to her the difference between the two. I said, when a ship comes into the docking canal or the berthing canal, it arrives at dock and is issued a birth certificate. And then the captain gives liberty for you to leave the ship. When a woman is pregnant, the baby comes down the birth canal and is usually delivered by a nurse and midwife, or midwife, as well as a doctor, and is issued a birth certificate. This is your corporate name, which basically you enter into contract with. I says, and basically, law of the land is common law. Law of the sea is maritime law that requires your consent. Your, basically, your name is your corporate name. Said so, so by filling in this form, I'm actually giving up all my rights as a human being. She's like, well, that's quite interesting, and she was actually genuinely quite interested. So I said, I said, I don't know if I'm going to fill it in. She says, well, she said they say they threaten to summon, you know, send you a summons for a thousand pounds, rah 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 rah, summons you to court because it's a lawful requirement. She said, but they never bother because it costs too much money. So, they've just told me, it's come from the horse's mouth, that they never bother because it costs too much money. So, this, this document here, is if you, if you sign this document, you are giving consent to be governed by parliamentary acts and statutes. And you're giving up your rights as a human being and entering into, into contract, right? This is why they, they say, you know, you don't have to go on the voting register, but you still have to fill it in. Why is that then? Because they need your consent, your corporate consent. You know, so by filling this in, you're giving up all your rights as a human being. A free person, oh sorry, not person, person is a legally term for um, for um, personage as in like contractual, um, a human being, my flesh and blood body cannot enter it into contract with, you can only enter into contract with my name, name. Um, which is usually represented in capital letters. As you can see it says on this one, the present occupier, because I'm not on this electoral roll. But yeah, um, so yeah, I'm going to go and post that into the post box soon and send it back. So now I know that all it is is bully boy tactics. And the, see, the thing is, I was going to send that one back, no consent, and then sign it, no consent, and print no consent. And then it says on it, do not return this form if you have registered by the internet or free phone. It says here, please return this form by... It is an offence to give false information on this form and declare that the details of this form are true and correct. So by me filling that in, I'm, I'm actually having to create an offence. So the best way to do it is just put no consent, no contract, send it back. Peace, love and love. Right.
What to do? I think that there's a little more about me than just another human resource. Keep your opinions free of your passions, free of your shareholders, and let power passions. Corporations of the nations, they cross them with the money from your donation. I buy everything that they sell me. If I can buy enough, then I can be. A joke. I think that there's a little more about me than just another cloning remorse. Free of your passions, my own opinions. I like the money too, but I am not like you. Collaboration of the nations. You've got a watch that work out stop mediation. I won't buy anything that they sell me, because I am never buy enough to be. Tell me, go and watch the TV, have a good time. My will to be here will keep me breathing. Oh, cause I don't bother back. One last time, here we go. Corporation of the nations, they brought them with the money from your donation. I won't buy anything that they sell in me. Cause I can never buy enough to be free They tell me what to drink, they tell me what to think They tell me how and where to go and have a good time My will to be here will keep me free here Home, and I don't follow fashion You darling <laughs> <laughs>